Hello and welcome to the Soft Hummingbird Tutorials. This is a series of tutorials in which I will show you the program Gvideon. In this video I'll show you how to open different channels in the AFM or SCM images, how to assign a different color scheme and how to apply some basic operations such as smoothening of the data. Now I'll show you how to show the metadata for the different channels of an image. In an AFM image, usually the topography or height channel, amplitude or deflection channel and the face channel are saved into the Im image data. In order to display them, go on Meter, Data Browser and select your desired channel. Here is the amplitude channel, for example. Now I apply the standard flattening and remove the faulty lines. Adjust the data scale and now let's take a look at the face of the image. Ok, now I'll show you how to assign a color. For changing the color in Gvideon you just right click on the scale and choose any color you like. If you write a thesis or a paper and have different microscopy data such as AFM and SDM images, you would want to choose different colors for them in order to distinguish between them. A good trick to see how all the different colors look on your picture is to open the More menu. By clicking on the color names and using your keyboard arrow keys, you can easily flick through all the different color schemes and select the one that you like most. For AFM images, however, usually the rust scheme is used. Now I'll show you how to define an equipotential surface defined by three points. For this you click here and then three times on your image. Then you can just move the single points. The image is then tilted such that all of these three data points have the same height position or the same signal. This feature is important if you for example have an FM scan with a step and want a plane to be at equal height. Now let's take a look on basic operations. For that you click on the simple filters. In the new window you select your filter such as a Gaussian, median value and so on. Let's select the Gaussian filter to blur and smoothen the data a little bit. Applying this gradually blurs the whole image, but you can also select only a part of the image and apply the filters there. The mean value filter looks at all the points for the mean value around the point and replaces it with this value. The minimum filter looks for the minimum value around a certain pixel and replaces this pixel with the minimum value. You can also use the maximum filter. Okay, so in this tutorial we learned about the basic usage of Gvideon, how to adjust the color scale and so on. And the next tutorials so will be a little bit advanced, but not really, it's very simple everything. And in the next tutorial we will generate a line profile through the data and extract it and save it and analyze, fit functions to it and so on. Don't forget to vote if you like this video and subscribe. Also, please visit my webpage Soft Hummingbird where you can download many tutorials and sample data files.